Brunson back. Put you with it back at you, and I am the best reporter on the Eagles. So, um, I'm three days post op of the um patella tendon uh repair, patella tendon surgery that I got uh this past Thursday, and I gotta say, man, you know the the pain definitely intensified last week. Um, but you know that's neither here nor there. Um, I took I was able to take the bandage off. Um, to my surprise, there wasn't any stitches. I have staples. So that lets me know the, the severity of it, man. They had they had to get up, they had to get up in there. So it's still just the same thing, you know. We just elevating, icing, just chilling, man. Just relaxing, man. Elevate, icing, chilling, relaxing, man. Keeping my ears glued to the wire and what's going on. Um that now Adrian Brown, I mean, I'm sorry, Antonio Brown going over to the Oakland Raiders. You know, honestly, it kind of makes sense for me. It makes sense for me, man. And, you know, um, I think a move like this and the, and the money that Antonio Brown got for the move, you know, he was guaranteed nothing. He was guaranteed nothing. Now he's guaranteed $30 million, at least for the next year. You know what I'm saying? He was guaranteed nothing. I mean, all you got to do is perform now, man. All you got to do is perform. You know, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers are obviously looking to take a step backwards. I mean, they look like they may lose Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell. Well, they're going to lose Le'Veon Bell, too. Um, that's just, it's not unfortunate, but I'm kind of glad we dodged a bullet because everybody likes to link some of these big-name free agents with the Philadelphia Eagles. And, you know, we don't have that type of money to pay um, to pay AB $30 million a year. Or we don't have the type of money to do some of these things. But they're linking us to some people that do make sense, like an Indama Kasu. You know what I mean? And that kind of makes sense to me. You you let you let Bennett go to um you let Bennett go to the Patriots. What you get back? Um a fifth and a seventh or something like that. You let Bennett go. Um you're gonna probably let Timmy Jernigan go. You're freeing up all this cap space while you're doing these things. I think you could swing an Indama Kasu and a running back out of the deal. I think you can. I think you could swing in Dominican Sue and a running back. You know, a lot of a lot of things are going on with players that they're not even talking about. So don't be surprised if we get in Dominican Sue and um and Tevin Coleman uh from the uh Atlanta Falcons. Don't be surprised if you see us with like, you know, uh Mosley, uh, one of those linebackers that's out there. There's a lot of free agents out there, man. A move is going to get made, which is why we're cutting down the cost. We also could be drafting a defensive tackle. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I was kind of upset with uh, Michael Bennett being gone, but um, there's there's the means to replace him. With ben, with um, Barnett coming back, with the defensive tackle heavy draft that's upon us, with the, with the names of free agency that they keep linking us to. So the means to replace him are there. What are we going to do and who are we going to do it with, man? Tomorrow's going to be huge, man. Tomorrow's going to be huge, um, you know. It's 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 legal. It's legal tampering day tomorrow. They legally can go and look and fish and offer money and say why this player should go there. It's going to be bananas tomorrow, man. You know, one thing that did uh, get away from me was that, you know, the Chiefs picked up. Uh, which running back was that the Chiefs picked up? I had my eye on them, too. Nobody was really talking about him like that. Um, Hyde, the Chiefs picked up Carlos Hyde, and I think that's a guy we should have looked at. You know what I mean? We should have looked at a guy like Carlos Hyde. So so already the Chiefs are already replacing Kareem Hunt with Carlos Hyde. You know, Carlos Hyde could have been available there for us. We need to make a move in a running back department for sure when it comes to free agency because there are no running backs in this draft that I like that can't come in and step in and do the job immediately. You know, they're not proven in that aspect to me. Uh, but I think we we dodged a bullet with A.B. Had, had, had we would have gotten A.B., would we would have accepted him with open arms? Absolutely. But do we need A.B.? No, we don't need A.B. We don't need anybody um, selfishly, uh, you know, taking selfishly. Um, well, maybe he's not really selfish. We don't need anybody who appears to be selfish. We don't need anybody who, who's loyal to. We got a second guess because we're trying to win a Super Bowl. We're trying to win another Super Bowl. So we need people who's on board with that plan. You know what I mean? We need people that's on board with that plan. Are you okay with getting 55 receptions in a year? But you being one of you being one of four or one of three receivers with 55 receptions in a year. Are you okay with 55 receptions, five touchdowns because the ball being spread around and other people have similar numbers to you? Are you okay with that? You know what I mean? Because that's how you win. When they don't know who to double team, that's how you win. That's how you win, man. And, and you know, I'm not sure AB mine is on, on, on things like that. Um... The Oakland Raiders aren't ready to contend immediately. They're ready to go to the playoffs now, possibly with this move and other moves that they're going to make. They got a couple first round picks coming up. They're they're going to be making noise soon, but just AB alone doesn't take the Oakland Raiders to the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? AB is they, they can afford the double team AB as it stands right now. You can afford the double team AB because who else is the threat? Who else is the real threat? 
And there's a lot of question marks with Derek, Derek Carr as well. But, you know, I'm not a Raiders fan. I'm con Congratulations to AB. You knew AB was going somewhere. Congratulations to AB for sure. But, you know, I think we dodged a bullet with that. And I just, I'm really, um, I'm, you know, and Dominica Sue seems really appealing because you need a defensive tackle. If you got Fletcher Cox or if you got Indomitian Sue, you need a defensive tackle who can who can who can mirror that. You know, um Indomitian Sue was on the defensive line with um Aaron Donald. And at least one of them was dominant, but they both got double teamed at times. Fletcher Cox get double teamed almost every play, and Timmy Jernigan was unable to take advantage of that from his defensive tackle position. You got to be able to take advantage of that. If you if you if you double team and Dominican Sue, and you got Fletcher Cox on that line, and Fletcher Cox got a one on one matchup, that's Bull Rush City, and then vice versa. If you double team Fletcher Cox and you leave Dominican Sue one on one, somebody's getting beat. Somebody getting beat, and then you still got Graham coming over the edge. So it's kind of it's kind of a good thing that we let go of Michael Bennett because we could have kept him. He would have just been a disgruntled employee because he's seen Graham getting paid. He's seen you know Derek Barnett coming back. Yeah, we ain't got the money to pay you. You do deserve a raise. Don't get it wrong. But we ain't got the means to pay you that right now because it's not all about one guy who thinks what he deserves. It's all about what's good for the group. And one of the Lombardi is good for the group. And that's the type of time we on, man. So I'm looking forward to free agency. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on, man. You know, um, I think I get the staples taken out of my league. Not this Monday, but next Monday. Um, it's all healing, you know, no sign of infection. This is things you got to look for post-op. No sign of infection, no excessive pain. I'm just doing my icing thing, um, taking my medication as needed. I really don't even need the medication like that anymore. It's just, you know, just sore and tender. I did just get cut up. I, I did have major surgery, but we're going to fight through with it, though. You know what I'm saying? We're going to fight through with it. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. I am the best reporting on the Eagles. I got a bunch of time on my hands. My wife went out with uh, with my daughter. So, you know, um, they feel comfortable with me. I'm, I'm cool. I got things nearby at arm's reach, remote, a little bit of food, stuff like that, water. I'm cool. Um, so I might do another one, man. Let's see.